All right, guys, let's get rolling here this morning. So let me show you the setup we're going to uh, go through today. Uh, so what I'm going to put through is I'm putting, um, I have uh, crude oil down here to the bottom left, uh, NASDAQ futures up here to the upper left, uh, the S&P. What I want to do to train you with these setups um, on Wednesdays, uh, Thursdays, and Fridays, we're going to walk through these setups. But let, let me tell you what we're doing over here. Let's look at the S&P first of all. Um, these arrows are automatically automatically going to fire in the room. I only put in on the indicator the failure setup. So we just have a failure setup right there checked. So this uh, just came up on my speakers to short. That was a uh, the audible alert, which will go on your speakers also. This is the short on the S&P that just happened right there. So these will only fire... Uh, arrows when there's a failure coming up in the room. It won't fire Momos. I have it just set. This is a 13 Rinko. Um, we'll do this on Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. I have it set to pick up just failure setups. So um, look at yesterday. I had a nice big short right there to what uh, near the close. Had some nice longs um, earlier in the morning um, where we had. Uh, a long, a long, long, and so on. The thing I'm going to walk you through is, is there's a order to these setups. When I get a failure setup that comes up here, I'm looking for a slingshot first wave here. So I'm looking for to, to another trade setup. So when I walk you through these, that's my combo setup. I want to see these two uh, come together. The reason I'm not going to put the first wave on here, you get a lot of first waves on the um, on the 13. I'd rather you just see the failure, and then we could watch for the first wave coming in out of the failure trade. So, for instance, here we're looking for a first wave short right now. So the audible alert on your computers will fire when this arrow fires at that level on the indicator, and then we're looking for a um, we're looking for a uh, first wave slingshot right now on the ES. So that's the 13 setup. So you're not going to see any arrows fire on this 13 except for failure trades like it did on this trade. It fired that live right there at a uh, nice little short at 8.56. As far as uh, these charts, I've, I've slowed it down for you uh, so we can walk through these. Um, I like the smaller Rinko charts a little uh, more because they have more setups. But so you can watch price action. I got crude oil to the bottom left. So we got crude oil to the bottom left here. Um, I got crude at this level. It will fire failure trades. Had a big failure yesterday. Where was it? Right here at 1030. Huge failure trade that fires. So these arrows will fire automatically on the failure trades and also the slingshots. So um, I'll have that at the bottom left for you, crude. We'll walk through those as price goes along. Um, upper left is our fastest market. That's the ES. Um, we had a huge failure trade here this morning on the, I mean, the NASDAQ futures um, right there at 831 this morning. Big failure trade. These arrows will automatically plot all day long when you're watching this. Um, if you have it on your computer, the audible alerts will fire depending what Rinko size you want to use. We just had a first wave slingshot short right here at 9.30 at the open, cranking the market down. You can tell it's just getting cranked. But that's the upper left. And then so you, uh, these will fire. Now on this one, I got them firing all of them. Um, I have the indicator firing the first waves, the slingshots, the momos, and the failure. You can always elect on your own computer um, is to put just the failure trades on, and then it would just fire those trades here this morning right at 8.30 just fired that one arrow specifically at that upper level. Uh, but I'm going to have them, just so you get a feel for the system, I'm going to have them all checked on crude because crude so volatile. We'll just check all these guys and you can watch live price action. Um, this is the first wave slingshot long that it just fired. So um, I'll leave that in the upper left. So we got and, and, and here's the Rinko size I'm using because I want to slow this down. Uh, this is the smallest Rinko that I have in the room. Is yes, I love slingshots. I mean, I love failure trades on the 13. 13 Rinko, like this last short. So these will fire uh, all day today, all day today, tomorrow and Friday. 
I'm leaving this 13 chart up all next week. This 13 will only fire these um, failure trades. But like I said, I like the combo. What I want you to watch for, and I'll point these out, is when I come into a failure trade, I'm looking for a first slingshot up for a nice little productive move to the upside or downside. It happens quite a bit when you get into these um, failure shorts. There's another one um, where you get into these first wave shorts. You come up and get that first wave short. So um, the 13, like I said, will only produce the failure because I have it selected to only put failure trades on. Um, if you would come in here and you wanted to do uh, – if you wanted to do the slingshot with it, you just hit apply, and then you would get, uh, you'd see the combo deal also, where you get, when you come into a first wave, you get a combo. We just get to such a small time frame, Rinko size. I like just doing, I like the larger Rinko sizes with all these checked, and I like the smaller one uh, on the ES uh, with just the, a failure trade that's producing a nice little run here this morning. Uh, now on this chart, this is the S&P. I have them all checked. So this is a larger S&P. I have them all checked. I have the first wave, the slingshot, the Momo, and the failure. They will all fire. Um, as you can see here, yesterday had a really good day. Yesterday, um, that's a whole trading session. Uh, we have a first wave, Momo. First wave, I mean a uh, slingshot, 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 first wave slingshot, uh, Momo, first wave slingshot. Today, uh, we're rolling into the market. We're looking, and I'll go through these setups, we're looking for a first wave slingshot as we speak. But all three of these, just a slow price action down for you so you can sort of get the idea of price action. If I put these too fast, if I, you can run them on these smaller charts like the NASDAQ. You know, and that's what I showed last week. It's a 125.25. Some of you guys are saying it's way too fast for you. You know, this price action is too fast. This is actually a, sh uh, a short there. This is a slingshot into a Momo. Um, so if this is too fast, I thought what the be the easiest way to train it would be to slow these Rinko sizes down. So I put a 130.30 on all three Rinkos. I got it on the crude oil. I have it on NASDAQ futures, and I have it on the S&P. So that will slow price action down on these three large time frames, our Rico sizes. So you can actually watch for the setups, and I can walk you through them um, when, the, when they're developing. Um, as far as, like I said, I'm leaving this on the 13. These fire automatically um, as far as the indicator goes. All right, so th this is the indicator. Like I said, we have... Uh, you can, the first wave, slingshot, momo, and failure are all involved in, in, into the indicator um, where they're all fire on all of these. I have them all set to fire on all these larger Rinko sizes. I have them to set every single trade set up to fire. So they'll be firing all of them, the first wave, slingshot, momo, and the failure on NASDAQ, crude oil, S&P, and like I said, I love failure trades off the 13. It's one of my favorite Rinko sizes to use. Um, with the NASDAQ, uh, with the S&P, as you can tell, it's a huge short, 54 and a half short, and it all the way down to 35. That's a 20-point run all the way already just on that small Rinko size. So we'll leave this one uh, only with, like I said, as we walk through these setups, we'll leave this one only on the 13 Rinko. Um, for the failure trade, okay? So um, that's what we have. We have NASDAQ to the upper left, crude oil to the bottom left. Uh, then you have the NAS, uh, the S&P and the S&P be beside each other, all right? So that is what we'll roll with here today, looking for setups as we roll through them. You can see that um, we're in a first wave down. You can see NASDAQ's even fast on the 130.30, but that produced a nice arrow for you right there at the uh, 632, um, got down as well as 20, a, a 13, 13 point hit already on the NASDAQ just from that. So this is gonna be your fastest chart in the room, the NASDAQ 130.30. Um, here's uh, crude oil doesn't really move that fast, so that would be nice and slow. The S&P doesn't move as fast on the 130.30. And, and this will move decent, um, this will move decent for you. 
I'm, I'm only showing, like I said, uh, the failure trades because they work so well on the 113.13. All right, so you can see when these come up, like this arrow on the NASDAQ futures, uh, they'll come up with uh, any four of those setups that come up. Uh, they'll come up. And like I said, you have an option when you get the indicator on your own computer. You have an option of putting whichever one you want. Okay. The indicator is working really, really well. Uh, Phil and I is working with the strategy um, before we release this uh, because the, um, the the strategy needs, uh, uh, we have to fix some issues on the strategy. But the indicator also, which we need to do, which I'm, before I send this out to you, you can change where these arrows are at. Right now, as we speak, I have it hard-coded where it will not let you change this failure trade. In other words, it's hard-coded where you get below 65, I mean below 40, that oscillator has to stay below 65 or it's not going to fire that arrow. So what we come up with is that what if we want to adjust it where it's 64 and below uh, 66 to give you a little bit more leeway on some of these failure trades. So I'm, I'm working on the code right now to adjust that. I had this hard-coded just for below 40, below 65, above 65, above 40 bull. So I'm doing that. I'm going to do that on the slingshots too. So the slingshots, let's say right here, on this arrow short that, that filled here at 944. Um, I'm adjusting it now into the code where uh, you can adjust this arrow back if you want to adjust it. Because what I have it going now, I have it going above 80 threshold and shooting back down through uh, hard-coded. So this is hard-coded where it comes up through 80 and it comes back down through bull of 40. And that's where these arrows will fire. Well, some of you may want it to fire earlier. Some of you may want it to come above 80 and fire into below the bear threshold and give you a little earlier fill right here on your arrows. So uh, I'm getting that. I'm working through the code on that right now. Uh, what I'm showing in the room today so you understand it, and I'll go through this until I get this uh, strategy and indicator updated for you guys so we can release this. Is it, it, the, it for slingshots? It goes above 80, gets back below bear, our bear bull of um, the pull in the arrow fire bull below 40. Okay, uh, the 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 failure trades are the same, hard coded, just like the 13 on the ES. I have a hard coded where we're we looking at here. Is it if I get my large oscillator, and if it goes below 40? And the small oscillator stays below 65, it's going to fire that failure trade for that possible big failure trade. Okay, so um, what we're going to do though is give you uh, is give you an option of if you want it to fire earlier, or a little bit later, um, and then you have the option of leaving my default. This is my default uh, in there if you would like. Um, totally up to you guys if you want to leave it in. And if you want to leave my default in, like I have it here, I love, absolutely love the 13 Renko on these failure trades on the S&P. Like I said, it's one of my favorite setups. As you can see, when it catches them, it catches some big ones sometimes. So, you know, this in the room going forward uh, will stay, the 13 will stay on there also. Okay? So just be aware of that, that we, we understand um, that this 13 is only going to fire failure trades just like it did over here, where these guys are going to fire all the setups right across the board. So if we do see a failure come up uh, that's producing, like I said, on the NQ, uh, the CL, or the, or the S&P, it will fire automatically um, on the ES also. It will fire automatically. And you'll get them on the ES too, on the larger Renko size. You do get them uh, when, when they do fire. But mainly with the ES on a larger Renko, um, as you guys know, the first wave slingshots work very well, and the first wave Momo trades, uh, first wave work very well also on the larger Renko size. You can see they're very productive. So that, that's what I want you guys to pay attention to when you watch this larger Renko size. Those first wave slings on the ES tend to work very, very well, very, very well. So, and you will get failures on this larger Renko size, but you know what? The, the the best failure is the 13. 
this guy right here. I mean, where can you go for a smaller Renko size and get these type of moves? I mean, that's just a beautiful move this morning um, on the on the S and P. So uh, I love when these fire that they fire on the 13. You got a potential runner like this in the market. 